thinking of building or renovating a house next year, then listen up. We know it's been a tough year for the construction industry, but clever Aussie minds are coming together to help your dollar go further. Yeah, to help you find out more, we sent today Melbourne reporter Isabella, St Isabella Stashkowski out to get on the tools. <laughs> There are so many pressures that have been impacting the construction industry from supply chain issues to labour costs and shortages. But through that, there has been some really interesting Australian innovation, setting up a path for trends in 2023. Some of the materials in construction now um, and some of the technology that's available you know, hasn't been seen before. So this is forcing a lot of the bigger companies to, to be competitive and to come up with, with new ideas. Could 2023 be our most innovative year yet when it comes to building and construction? The industry is aiming to overcome challenges like supply issues and tackle cost of living pressures. So let's start in Melbourne's northeast, where small business I build can print a house a day from this machine. That's essentially pushing all the steel through as a flat sheet and once it goes through the machine it is then punctured, bent into position and then ends up looking like your standard studs, noggins, rafters. It's a flat pack steel home. Every piece arrives in a box and despite shortages this company says it's confident in its steel supply. <laughs> Before the printing process, it's all about design. Owner builders see their home virtually, a growing trend across many specialisations we will see develop further. It sort of comes to life and we can walk through it and uh, observe it in virtual reality. You can play with spaces, windows and furniture, see changes in light and even add pits. It's very customisable. So this is the Today Show house that you've made for us? Yeah, so this is just <laughs> one of our newer designs. Once that's all done, it's time to go on site. We find a good way to help more sort of families to build their dream homes at stronger, smarter, faster and more affordable. The company says their projects are complete in six to eight weeks at a third of the cost of a traditional build. Cost is certainly forefront for many. Some companies are coming up with unique solutions. So effectively what we're doing is change, changing one front door into five front doors, which actually frees up four family homes. Invita takes a standard home, converts the internal structure and creates micro apartments sharing a common kitchen and laundry. Founder Ian Ugarte says it's beneficial for renters and investors, an affordable way to lease part of a house. I really see that the co-living space is the space and answer to the majority of the affordability issue. Experts say next year will be all about new tech and finding solutions for continued and costly supply issues. You're probably going to see these uh, supply chain issues going to 2023, 2024, but I think a lot of companies are sort of onto it and they're, they're you know, trying to make changes. The hope is that pressure could fuel innovation with companies competing for your cash. So whether you're after a steel printed home, want to use VR to walk through a design, or you're thinking totally outside the box, next year could pave the way toward a win for the construction consumer. Look, you're going to see in the coming years uh, companies you know, really ramp up technology and there's going to be a lot of options, uh, a, a, a lot of new options available to the consumer. Yeah.